their 14 goal man sitting on the bench right there as a possible move to West Ham looms large. Players on in the second half. You've got the likes of Diego Costa and Eden Hazard to score some goals. Aren't With too. themselves, certainly their supporters, starved of big occasions such as this. There's a club that has never really made a big impression on the FA Cup. If they can come through this, then maybe it could be their year. Chelsea Anthem about to fade into the distance. Michael Oliver with the whistle. And away we go with Brentford. Oh. Oh, Pedro. Some achievement to make the upper tier from there. It's interesting that Brentford are trying to get their wing backs as tight as they can, both to Pedro and Ake. Thought about crossing the ball at some point for Batshuayi. Instead, came in field onto his left foot. Succeeded in locating his captain, Harley Dean. He is dangerous in the air. He attacks the ball really well. Dean, the centre back. It's a good delivery as well. That's short to William. Pedro. Free kick. I think Vive's saying that Pedro ran into him, but he did really well. It's a short ball. Pedro looked to go beyond him and then just changed his mind. Daniel Bentley earned quite a reputation as South End's last line of defence. William Bentley couldn't reach that. Smoothly dispatched by the Brazilian, and Chelsea have an early lead in the cup. Well, that's what he was doing time and time again last year, Willian. What a free kick it is. Just bending it round the wall. It's a big wall they put up as well. He just can't get across, Bentley. Yeah, Here's John Terry. He's not scored too many from there in his career. Well, he was just making his way up to get in the box when the ball was played to him. I guess just rolling the ball to John Terry. Actually could have taken a touch and himself into the penalty box that's why and here's Pedro too be interesting to know who the pass was actually intended for on Batshuayi was it intended for Willian or was it intended for that man there Pedro Coming in from his right wing back position doesn't really make too much difference. The timing in the run was excellent. It's actually, Loftus Cheek that was making a run through the inside. I think it was meant for him. He miscontrolled it, and suddenly Pedro was in. What a good finish. Trying to find an angle. But all he finds is a corner. That's the run I was talking about earlier. And then Cesc Fabregas gets on the ball. The wing back wants to come that little bit wider to stop Nathan Aki getting 40. Terry. Bit of confusion, but Batshuayi. Well, there are appeals from. Does it go over the line? No, it doesn't. Fabregas. Loftus cheek. Well, the understanding, the movement, the passing of Chelsea is excellent. Fabregas playing the ball in Loftus Cheeks trying to get it round the corner for Batshuayi. He really hits it well. It falls from here. It's a decent set. Fabregas. Whooped wide by Ake. It's always going to be difficult. He's almost beyond the near post when he strikes the ball. It's a good bit of movement. He comes all the way from the back. And once he's beyond that near post, it's almost impossible to get that on target. Yes. And here is Batshuayi, but the flag is up. And it remains 2-0. I don't think it was for Batshuayi, it was for the first ball that was played to Pedro. He made his run here, just took another touch, he tried to get himself back onside. But it's the right decision. What a pass from Fabregas. Nicely done, and Batshuayi, but again the flag is up. Well, Pedro's making the runs, the players on the board just taking a fraction too long to see the run. And that was the case with Shalabar again. 
It's a tight one, but again, I think the re uh, assistant referee on that far side is absolutely right. Fabregas. I'm not sure he struck that perfectly, but he's got a corner out of it. Cesc Fabregas is beginning to run the game now. Not alone with Batshuayi hoping for something from him. Fabregas with the pass. Not just shades away from that challenge. He's having a little look. Certainly hit with power. A decent save from Bentley. Batshuayi hit his hand. And he did well just to hold off the challenge of Dean to start with. There again, Fabregas. Time on the ball. Batshuayi trying to make the run in behind. Air shot comes up and hits him on the hand. Flicked on and only parried by Begovic, which allowed a follow up from Vibe, and that itself fields a corner. Well, he looked threatening from set place. There's a bit of holding going on in the box. In the end, it was aimed to that near post. They got the first flick on. Half time at Stamford Bridge between these West London neighbours and Chelsea very much in control. Thanks to Williams' free kick and Pedro's economical finish from Batshuayi's through ball. The might have... John and Stewart, thank you. So then Chelsea with a comfortable lead over Brentford, but plenty of... Competition for places. He's got them in a good spot at the moment. Yeah, we spoke about them being mentally correct. For Any the... means for Brentford to get back into this? Not the way people like William are playing. This is an opportunity. Cesc Fabregas, I mean, he's run... Where we go... Kickoff orchestrated by Batshuayi and Fabregas. Woods with the cross. And Vibe. Well, he tried to free his feet. John Terry. Begovic did really well there. In search of an angle. Well, he did everything right, didn't he? Threatened to cross a couple of times or get his shot away. The timing of the run's good. Loftus Cheek finding him. Always going to come back on his right foot. Threats to shoot here. And then. Oops. Loftus Cheek. Unlucky. Face of the crossbar denies the youngster. Absolutely brilliant from Willian. Had to ride a couple of heavy challenges on him as well. Pedro has opened it up a little. Couldn't keep the shots. Good play, chance for Brentford. And Begovic does enough to retain his clean sheet. Well, he does really well until the final finish. Linares. Not known for his goal scoring. Really good ball from Woods. He makes the right run. Just turns away from Terry. After Sheik. And still, locked away to safety. Could he have struck it earlier? That's why he does well to hold off the... Two to the left, Ivanovic to the right. He's not long been on the pitch, but Branislav Ivanovic puts this tie beyond all reasonable doubt. Well, he played two or three parts in this move. First of all, he was under a bit of pressure. Then played beyond that. Played the one. So Pedro's been excellent. Just times his pass. It wasn't the perfect pass. He had to just wait for it slightly, Ivanovic. You might have to question the goalkeeper's position. They have a lot of space at the near post for Ivanovic to hit. Yes. Back to I. Now that's where he's got to do a lot better. The movement is excellent. He knows that Fabregas has got time on the ball. He's got the pace to get out there. If you imagine Diego Costa in these positions, Diego Costa would then go at the defender, find himself half a yard and get a really good shot in, and you expect him to score. As soon as Batshuayi... Costa. Over goes Ivanovic. And Michael Oliver awards Chelsea a spot kick. 
actually wasn't a great pass from Diego Costa. It was in between the two players. Ivanovic, mm. left-sided wing-back, Barbe, makes connection with his four this season. So a chance to boost his confidence from the spot, which he does. And Chelsea's lead now is not only winning, but handsome too. That's a good finish. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way, right in the corner, hit with enough power as well. So uh, Bentley had chosen the right way, probably wouldn't have saved it. I think he's deserved a goal, he's worked hard as the main front player. Will be hot up. Certainly got a bit of pace in this. Rather than cross it, he goes for goal himself. Begovic may have been beaten had it gone in at that near post area. So, top of the Premier League and about to be confirmed in the last 16 of this season's Emirates FA Cup. Chelsea. So, Chelsea comfortably through to the next round. Meanwhile, we're into the dying minutes.